doing? What are you doing? Uh, just looking for my lunch. But I just saw you throw away my beet salad. <laughs> who eats beets? Who eats beets? I'll tell you who eats beets. My father. His father. His father before him. Generations of the Shroop family have eaten beets. Okay. Michael, this is a serious matter. You're in violation of the Office Code of Conduct, Article 2, Section 3, Clause 5. Code of Conduct? More like schmode of schmacht, schma, schmanduct. Michael, this is a serious matter. This holy code, it governs all the employees here at Dunder Mifflin. And as assistant, are you telling me that other people break these codes? I mean, some people do it. Michael, as assistant regional manager, assistant to the regional manager, and the self-nominated head of security of this branch, I demand that you tell me. Was it Jim? Pam? You need to tell me. Uh, Kevin. It was Kevin. You saw Kevin? Yeah. Doing what? He he was in the break room. He's always in the break room. He eats all the time, like a like a horse. Seriously, he eats like a horse. M&M's, Skittles, Girl Scout cookies? Don't tell me you've never seen a horse come to town in some Thin Mints. Is this true? Yes. Kevin! Kevin! Have you been stealing people's food from the refrigerator? Wait. That's not a communal fridge? There are serious consequences to breaking the office code of conduct. Uh, well, um, Meredith's worse. I will purge the office. Hey, uh, Dwight, can I borrow your calculator? I mean, I don't see why I can't just use your own, but okay. Oh my god. Jim, this is unacceptable. I'm going to Michael. Michael? 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 Michael, I demand uh, that Jim is fired immediately. Uh, Dwight, I don't, I don't have time for this. Jim, get over here. This is a meeting. Michael, Jim has shown a repeated tendency to disrespect authority, and he's, he's vandalized my equipment. Look, he, he put my calculator in jail. This is vandalism. Destruction of office resources. Dwight. I have a lunch meeting at 1 at Chili's. It's it's only 12. I, I like to get there early so I can get an extra awesome blossom. Plus, you know, if I get lost. Jim, I'd be careful with who you have set around here these days. Changes are coming to this office. Well, what are you talking about? Jim, changes are happening here within Dunder Mifflin. Dwight, if you're talking about the jello thing, I didn't do it. I don't need the truth, Jim. All that matters is the evidence. Ha! And Meredith is on probation. And Creed's already been fired. Who knows who will catch next? Am I afraid of Dwight? No. Michael, uh, I want you to notice that all my sales numbers are up this quarter. Hey, uh, Michael, can we talk now? Yeah, of course. Of course, Jim. Dwight, don't you have some sales numbers or something? Yeah, what, what? Michael, I think that we should talk about what Jim. happened. Jim, sit down. Okay, but we should focus on what happened with Creed. Right. We should get on lunch sometime. Yeah, yeah, we should get on lunch. Uh, we can go to lunch, but now, right now we need to focus on what, what happened with Creed. No, really. What happened to us? We used to hang out all the time. Michael, we never hung out. Oh, we did. We were best friends. You are never that close. Don't give me that Jim. I'm sorry. We, we used to hang out. We used to go to lunch. That's just the tip of the ice cube. It's all because of that Pam. It's it's not Pam's fault. She she didn't do anything. You just need. How did this all start? I was in the kitchen and I accidentally grabbed somebody else's lunch when I was looking for my own. It's not a big deal. But that's we need to talk about us right now. My, Michael, there never was an us. Okay, I I like you, but we weren't that close. 
You need to calm down and stop accusing people. This needs to end now. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? Never mind. I don't care. Have you heard about what has happened? What happened? You haven't heard? Creed's been fired, but Meredith is put on probation for giving fake quotas. And a lot of rings have gone missing near Stanley's desk, so he's on probation. Phyllis is on probation for taking really long lunch breaks. And Andy is put on probation for talking in a baby voice. And Toby is put on probation for blatantly disrespecting Michael's authority. Michael, I got donut for the office. Hey, you have a snowman donut? Well, it's March. Sprinkles? Your sprinkles the hell away from me. I need that. What? What? When did all this happen? Well, I was on the board of office conduct. Wait, that board was real? I thought Dwight was just being stupid. Yeah. It was me, Dwight, Michael, and Holly. <laughs> Why are you on it? Dwight asked me to. She's the only one that would say yes. Ooh, we're just gonna go now. That's so rude. I wasn't done talking. You know, Pam's name was mentioned. What do you mean? Her name was mentioned? Well, her name was mentioned at the meeting today. Was it Michael? Dwight made me swear not to talk about it on the Shroop Family Farmer's Almanac. We can stay if you want. No, I'm bored with you. Hi guys. I'm not here for the board. I'm here of my own accord. I'm just going around talking to everyone who was mentioned in the meeting today to learn about them, their work, and their work ethic. Pam was mentioned in the meeting today. How would you describe your work ethic? Well, I, I get phone calls and I go to meetings. And, uh, Jim, you sell paper. You're one of the best salesmen in the office. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I sell paper. See, between the two of us, we, work, we both work really hard. But in the office, you both need to know what you're doing. Jim, just tell her what Michael told you. What? What happened? What did Michael tell you? I, I, Michael said that he was the one who took someone else's lunch. But it's turned into more than that. We've discovered that there are things a lot worse going on in this office. Do you even believe that these people are being rightfully questioned? Well, I mean, there's some bad stuff going on, but not on this scale. Pam? No, I don't think it's right. Pam, how many years have you been overusing the water cooler? Dwight, that doesn't even make sense. Would you describe your actions as very detrimental to the company, somewhat detrimental to the company, or neutral to the company? Michael, this is ridiculous. We're not saying she did anything wrong. We're just trying to reveal the truth. That's ridiculous. Pam's been a valuable asset to this company for years, and she hasn't done anything to deserve these li this line of questioning. We have evidence that suggests that Pam has been embezzling resources. Oh, come on. She's a secretary. What assets could she steal? She's been purloining resources for her own personal gain. Dwight, just tell him. Well, she's been overusing post-it notes. Are you guys really going to believe in Dwight's witch hunt? Every this is so insignificant. Everything's insignificant to you. I work hard every day. Why else would I get so many promotions, Dwight? You disrespect me. You're superior. The assistant regional assistant general manager. Of the regional manager. Okay, you have no proof of that. Oh yeah? Stick that in your shoe and bake it. It's hard proof. Hard as a rock. Shoes are the only way to bake beets. Everyone knows that. It's a summer solstice tradition. I demand that he's fired. Yeah, he hates me because I'm a minority. 
Dwight, this isn't the grounds to fire someone. This is starting to turn into lies. They're innocent. Michael, do something. Uh, I'm getting a... Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I've got to take this. This is really, this is important. I can't, I gotta go. Michael, no one's calling you. No, they, it's, this is important. Hey, Mom? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not leaving. I, I, uh, I have, a, I have, I have, a, I have, 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 This Dwight, she owes me money. That time I gave her a ride to that place. I hear keys. Michael! 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 I have the hearing of an armadillo. Michael left. Well, I bet it was Jim in the first place, stealing lunches. I'm not one of those lunch lifters. So that's what you and your gang of bandits call yourselves. Whoa, this is going way too far. We should just take a step back and think about what we're doing here. Jim, if you repent and admit that you've done wrong, we'll let you keep your job with minimal punishment. If you guys want to believe Dwight, that's one thing. But you can't just take away people's lives based on his word. I can't subject myself to working with a bunch of idiots who are going to make me admit to something that I didn't even do. If you let this happen and don't stop it, I'm quitting. But, Jim, I'm pregnant. We need the money. Finally, something interesting happens around here. What? You're pregnant? Dwight, pick up your phone. Yeah, sorry, I was going to let you guys finish. Jim, we need the money. I don't need this job. I can find another one. That's not a sure thing in this economy. So, uh, who's the father? Uh, Jim? Are you sure? Uh, yeah, pretty sure. Whatever, I'm leaving. Woman, wait with him. I'm not gonna make him do something he doesn't want to do. What? Shoes are the only way to bake beets. <laughs> Shoes are the only way to bake beans. Everyone knows that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you both need to know what you're doing in the office. I have a line right now, but I don't know what it is. Okay, <laughs> someone be ready. <laughs> Me with passionate rage. It's like I'm hotter than an ox on a summer's day. Hey. <laughs> nice. I like you. I think I wrote that line. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't give me that shark piss, Jim.